Hello, this is Sam, and this is the global learning project of the T150 section 007. Um, today, I will introduce how different from the China and the Vietnam. Um, I divide into three parts. The first part is history, and the second part is um, education, and the third part is food. Um, first, let's talk about history. I must say that it was the pity of the Vietnam because the Vietnam, uh, Vietnam was occupied by China um, from Qing Dynasty, and in 1890s, um, French people also occupied it. Um, in 1970s, yeah, uh, Vietnam just became a independent country. So, but like every coins have two sides. So, um, the disadvantage is that. Vietnamese people lost their own culture in that period of time, but the advantage is that, like Vietnamese people absorbed Chinese culture and um, French culture and uh, mixed it together um, to be their own culture. Yeah, <clears throat> and the uh, um, second one is the education. Well, <laughs> everybody know that like Chinese people. Um, very good at on the test. Well, that's true because you know Gaokao killing the thousand of people every year, and um, because like a test can like limit your all, whole life. This is very unfair, I think. Cause, um, so like some people like. Avoid to attend into Gaokao like me. I choosing like go boarding, and like touch and the Western culture. Um, but in Vietnam, people like according to Wu says, people like just focus on the electronic education, you know, electronic engineering. Um, and I search a link from the internet is that. People who is called Nels Frozer, um, he is a Google um software engineer, and then he found that Vietnamese student around the eleventh grade, they almost of them they can pass the Google interview. Well, first I heard this in information, it was shocked me because the Google interview is pretty the engineer interview is pretty hard for the. People from all over the world, and uh, almost of the Vietnamese people can student can pass it, almost. So I think they learn a real thing, Vietnamese, and this is how Vietnamese students do better than us. And the third part is the food. Well, I will show you some pictures, and. Um, this is what I did in the PHQ restaurant. Uh, I did the appetizer of the uh, beef soup um, with the cook and the lemon juice and the bean uh, sprout. Um, because the Vietnamese food like divide into yin and yang. Yin means the cold food with like the vegetables, something like uh, carrots, something like that, and uh, Yang means something fries um, and a spicy food. So beef soup is a little bit spicy and um, appetite is like the, the cold food. So they mix it together. They believe that it is, this is the best group, the food group. Um, compared to Chinese food, I, because I um, born in the eastern of the China, and I have the beef soup like every day. Yeah, but I think the Vietnamese food is more colorful. Um, at least the soup, because the appetizer is like they they can like make a lot of appetizers for the different soup. This is amazing. Um. <laughs> Um, and I know how to make the a kind of the appetite. Um, also, although it's very easy, but I think it's still like interesting. 
yeah so in conclusion um i want to say that um chinese food can be more colorful because vietnamese food more colorful because like vietnamese culture like absorbs some french culture in it and uh, you know french food is very luxury more colorful so and the second one i think um chinese cult and um, the edu chinese education way could be um, cannot be successful in the future because chinese students just know how to test know how to have a test this is why i want to learn the education in america i want to like change the chinese education way so that's it thank you